Hold on, wait, wait a minute. Hey, baby, what you waiting on? See, 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 you want to get real fine, and I'm gonna pay you no mind when I get real fine. I'm getting fine about that, baby. See, 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 you gonna wait till I get too fine, and I ain't gonna pay you no mind, baby. I just laid. I hope they, 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 they how? I hope they don't lift up during the video because it's gonna be a edge front, not a lace front, an edge front. <sighs> What's going on everybody? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Tay. Nice to meet you. And if you have not yet subscribed, baby girl, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you really almost at these say doing? Subscribe to my channel and be a part of my lovely, fantabulous, astronomically lit family. <coughs> As you can tell by the title, I'm going to be diving into a little bit more personal stuff. I wanted to tell the story for a minute now, but like, I'm like, should I? Should I not? Do you love me? Do you love me not? You know? Ah, Cause I'm like, I'm not really a, um, a serious person. I'm gonna try my best to tell this story. So as you can tell by the title, I'm gonna be doing my bullying story. Oh my God. Like bullying is like a serious topic, but like, yeah, we're gonna get right into this video. Make sure you guys watch all the way through. If you guys wanna know my bullying story, why not? Why not? Why not? So I wrote down a few like bullet points so I'm not all over the place. First, I'm gonna tell you like a little synopsis basically of my bullying story. I started getting bullied in elementary school. I wanna say third grade to seventh grade. So that's like four years. Okay, so the main reasons why I used to get bullied was because one of my natural hair, I will always wear the same hairstyle to school. Like I don't have any pictures now because like I was so insecure about myself. So I'm like, ah, I don't wanna keep old pictures, babes. I don't wanna do it. So I would like delete pictures of myself because like I don't I don't want to look back in the past. I wish I kept majority of the pictures that I've deleted, but like, unfortunately, I vary. I only wear skirts because of my religion. So I used to get bullied because I only wear skirts. I couldn't wear pants. Like if I do wear pants, I wear sweatpants. Wow, this is like mad deep. If any of my family members watch this, ah, ah babes. Ah. But yeah, I, I would wear sweatpants most of the time to like avoid wearing skirts because of how much I would get bullied in school. And like I wouldn't tell anybody because like I had nobody to talk to. Who was there to talk to? And I would brush it off like, ah, it's fine, whatever. Like cry about it. But yeah, I would wear sweatpants all the time even when I don't have gym. I wear sweatpants all the time. All the time. Nine degrees outside, I'm wearing sweatpants. Hey, you can wear a skirt now. What are you doing? What are you doing? I was so worried about other people's opinion of me wearing skirts. And of course, I never used to buy my own clothes at the time because I was in middle school. Duh. So I had to wear what my mom bought for me. And, you know, I would get bullied majority of the time. I was in the playground one day. I remember this like so clearly. I was in the playground one day and I was wearing a white jean jacket, uh, a jean skirt, and like a, like a blouse. And I remember my hair was twisted because I always used to too strain twist my hair. And my hair used to be mad short my hair never used to even touch my ears babes was kind of bald headed not gonna lie and i'm gonna get to that like why i was bald headed but this boy he had a group of friends and you know everybody had their own little clique in school so this boy he had a group of friends and they would just form a huge circle like you know when somebody's about to fight they'll form a huge circle around me and just pick on me like like my shoes my skirts my hair they used to push me and nobody would say anything nobody would do anything like everybody would just be laughing at me and i'm just like are y'all kidding me? At the time I had like one friend, like one good friend, but she was quiet. So I wouldn't expect her to do anything because she quiet. Um, at the time I was quiet. I would talk a lot in class, but when it comes to that situation, like those socializing situations, whatever, I used to be mad quiet, but whatever. I never spoke to anybody about it. I never spoke to a guidance counselor. I never talked to my mother. I never brought it up to my parents, uncles, nobody, my cousins, nobody, because I thought like, <sighs> And so, you know, like, there's no, it was nobody to talk to, so I just keep it to myself. And that's my problem, but that's another day, another topic, babes. Fast forward, when I got into, when I was ending seventh grade, the same people that bullied me, we was kind of cool. Because, okay, let me tell you what happened. Oh, ooh, 
wait ooh ooh my story all over the place okay boom so remember when i told you guys i was bald headed okay also i used to want my hair to be straight all the time so i took the blow dryer and my mom had a hot comb and i would like literally go through my hair trying to make it straight in the mirror blow dry my hair like every day because i wanted my hair to be straight like i i didn't want i didn't want this i didn't want this babes i didn't want and i'm happy that i didn't go through that phase like some girls go through a phase where they perm their hair my mother kill me should i kill me hey should i kill the hair first and then killed me hey ah, cream per per ah, ah. in what household this one not this one ah. oh get olive oil ah. And cream this, pam, de, my mother, my mother, my, my, but, but, mother, kill me. Hey, uh -uh. the most I could have done was blow dry, flat iron, that's it. But anyways, I wanted my hair to be straight all the time. I didn't want this, I didn't want this, but I'm so happy that I didn't go through that phase where I permed my hair because like, <sighs> But fast forward to a few months later after that, like I don't know, I just started being fun. I can't, I can't say I started being funny. I started having more of an outgoing personality. I started to socialize more, like meaning like making people laugh and stuff, but not intentionally. But like it would just come, you know what I'm saying? To, to hide my hurt, if you want to call it that. I would just be funny. I would be loud. I'd be obnoxious because I thought that would make me feel better. You understand what I'm saying? When I got to eighth grade, I wasn't really picked on anymore, but I was still not comfortable with myself. Like it took me, like when I say it took me a really long time and I'm still in the process of like, you know, loving all of these. Sissy chocolate baby. But it took me a really long time and I really came a long way from elementary school. I feel like everybody got bullied in elementary school. Like who didn't? Okay. I know, I know, I know, I know people that didn't. But yeah, there's more to the story, but that's just like the synopsis of it. And then when I got to high school, I never, never got bullied. Never. I'm not saying I made the school know my name, but I was known in the school. I made sure of that. And I didn't do anything bad for me to be known, but I was just funny. I was cool. There's always a fire truck in my videos. Wow. Okay, so I wrote down a few questions so this video can be more. Ah. What do you call it? Organized. How I got bullied, I, I explained how I got bullied. I experienced being bullied four years straight, nonstop. I tried to change my appearance, wasn't working. I tried to fit in with the crowd, still wasn't working. So I was like, okay, I guess I just have to fight this battle on my own. So I had no guidance, nobody to vent to, like I said before. Things changed, like I said also before. When I got to high school, I started to be more social. People just knew I'm still too nice, but people just knew in high school not to mess with me. When it came to bullying. How did things change? I guess I would have to say I made that change myself with putting on a more a more positive side instead of just being depressed and stuff because like I can't be depressed. I can't. I went through like a mini depression stage but I can't be depressed. So I was like let me just be funny and I guess that's the real me like being funny because I can't be quiet. Changing my appearance. Yeah, I always used to change my appearance also to please others even in high school but it was more in middle school than high school but in high school when it comes to appearance I did my hair literally every day I never had the same hairstyle in the same week as I was saying about the vi this video is literally all over the place but as I was saying about depression like, some parents think depression isn't real some parents think that teenagers can't go through depression some parents think that oh kids don't got nothing to worry about they don't got bills to pay they don't have to worry about responsibility but we still go through stuff parents we go through stuff. Depression is real. I'm learning how to be more positive and not let everything get to me. I'm just learning how to just be a better me for myself and not let people's opinions and comments, they're ignorant, unnecessary, disgusting, irrelevant, ignorant comments get to me. Cause at the end of the day, baby, it's my life and babes, whether or not you like it, you gotta bite it. One of my coping mecha, I have two coping mecha 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 niggasm. I have two coping mechanisms. I have two coping mecha. You get it. One of my coping that word um is my hair. Like I love doing my hair. It makes me feel great. It makes me feel better, especially when I let them hedges. And my last coping mm, that word. Well, I can't say was because I'm still doing it, but it's YouTube. Like. Oh. I love, 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 love doing YouTube. I love editing. If you guys can see, I'm very passionate about this. Like, I don't care about subscribers. Of course, like, I want a fan base. I want people to watch my video. But, like, even if I get 20 views, that's like, wow. 20 people really decided to sit down, click on my video, and watch through my video. Like, come on. I really had to just learn how to appreciate that little. Because when I get big, baby, we're going to get big. Let me let me mark my words. We're going to get big. It might not be tomorrow, but it's going to be one 
one day and baby we're gonna hit 1k period i feel like being bullied really just it really helped me and molded me into the person i am today so i'm like i'm kind of happy i got bullied but it wasn't to an, an extreme extent where thank god that like nothing bad didn't happen to me because some people do go through worse experiences when they do get bullied and i'm just so thankful to god that i was not caught in one of them predicaments where i like did something that would threaten my life yeah back to youtube <laughs> like youtube just makes me really happy editing like i don't mind editing for 12 hours i just don't i love being in front of the camera i just love talking to you guys i'm just so happy i found youtube or youtube did i found youtube or youtube youtube found me like youtube is for me i, I don't care what nobody want to say nobody can't stop me from making my videos nobody can't stop me from making content like haters are gonna come and if this is my passion it's gonna come along with hate you understand what i'm saying i just love youtube i can be like 1000 percent myself baby i'm not gonna make this video any longer Longer than it already is thank you guys so much for watching this video i tried to be as serious as possible but like it wasn't working out for me it really wasn't i didn't want this to be a sad sack story because like i just can't do it so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you didn't make it to this point that means you made it to the you made it to the end babes and baby mirror mirror on the wall who's the baddest of them all me not only today but forever and don't forget that you guys watching all y'all are bad all y'all are pretty all y'all are beautiful all y'all are handsome don't let anybody degrade you guys don't let anybody tell you you're ugly like don't even tell yourself you're ugly don't put that negative energy into the air they're gonna wait till you too fine and guess what you ain't gonna pay him no mind period but back to my outro because like i don't know where that came from make sure you guys remember to like comment and subscribe turn on your post notifications so you will be notified anytime I do post another video. And without further ado, this baddie is out. Bye.